Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, my name's Nigel. In this Flutter tutorial we're going to show you how you can install third party packages, external packages. The package we're going to be installing is going to be the English Words package. If I just go back one, see these are the current available Dart packages here. If you look English Words is right at the very top here. And so what we want to install is just generate word pairs. This two words that go together. Okay, so we'll go back to my website here. So I do put assisting articles for this. You may prefer to follow the article instead of the video. It may be faster for you. So I've put down the details of what we're going to be covering in the video. Um, you will have to sign up for the free membership in the website. There will be a description and the a link in the description box as well as a card for that. Okay, so we will make a start here and I do put the details of how you can get the previous episode tutorial of the code from there just to start this particular episode as well. So that's supported in Git. Okay, so first thing we need to do is to install the English words packages. So we'll go into our Android Studio. You need to select the pubspec.yaml. Y-A-M-L. Okay, and it's in this section here, so make sure it's in the dependencies. And we'll just add it underneath here. So it's English words, underscore words. And I'll quickly go back to make sure I've got that right. So, and it also shows you how to import that as well. So it's English underscore words. Okay. And it's going to be version 3.1.0. Now I did have issues here that note this is the beta 1 release. So try clicking packages get. That is working now. Previous recording, that did not work. That's now completed. Okay, now we can jump across to our main.dart file. And first thing we need to do is to add the uh, import the easy words package. So select import. And if I just type easy English words, I'm thinking about something else there. And this is what you're going to need English underscore words dot dart. Now we'll generate a member for the word pair. And we're going to put it inside our widget build there. So we'll create a new member. We're going to use the keyword final, which means it can only be written to once. We'll call it word pair. We have to use a new keyword because we're going to create an instance of the object. What I'm going to do here is select word pair random there. So each time we refresh the display, we'll get a new word pair generated for us. Now we do need to display that. And so what I'm going to do here is just make a copy of this, coming out the top line there, and then change the text inside here. And what we'll do is just call word pair as camel case. So the start of each word will be highlighted as camel case. Now I'm going to drag the emulator across here and we will run this. So as we can see the application is now started. That text is a little bit small so we're just going to modify that. We're going to style that. So inside new text I'm just going to add another comma here and enter. And just under the WordPress I'm going to select style and create a new widget called text style. And inside text style, we will call font size, and let's make it nice and large. Okay, just press Control S, which is doing a hot reload. We'll wait for that to complete. And as you can see, the text is now a lot larger and easier for you guys to see. And if we press hot swap, or if I just do Command S, You'll see the text keeps changing for that as well. Okay, and that basically completes what we we're trying to do here. So the main step was inside our YAML file, 
we just added a um, external library there just to get the functionality of English words. And then we had to basically import that. Once we've installed the library, we just press import there. And that gave us the functionality of using word pairs and generating word prayers. And finally, we saw that we used the text style widget just to increase the text size so you guys can see the text size being generated a lot easier anyway so that completes this flutter tutorial if you do want to get notified of these flutter tutorials i'm working on don't forget to click on that subscribe button and the bell icon next to it and thank you for taking the time for watching this one bye for now